Well, world leaders and heads of international organizations and activists are here in Paris for a two-day financial summit. The goal, seeking a better responses to try and tackle poverty and climate change. While the summit does not have the power to make formal or binding decisions, its purpose is to give a strong political impetus. Earlier, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron made opening remarks. Let's cross now to our senior reporter, Catherine Norris Trent, who's covering the summit for France 24. Hello to you, uh, Catherine. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that uh, speech from Emmanuel Macron. Hello, Will. Emmanuel Macron opening this summit said that no country should have to choose between economic development and fighting climate change and that he's bringing all these actors together in Paris to try and basically get them all to talk to each other and work out how to do business better and more intelligently. So as well as around 40 heads of state or government, you've got ministerial delegations from many other countries and you've got a, a whole raft of international institutions and financial institutions, so from the World Bank, or the World Trade Organization, the International Monetary Fund, and lots and lots of private sector participants, and also uh, environmental campaigners too. So now they're going to be sitting down in roundtable discussions to work out how in concrete terms they can make it possible for the developing world to uh, grow their economies, restructure their debt, but also fight climate change because we're in a world of rising global temperatures, but also rising food prices, rising grain prices, think of course of the war in Ukraine, rising energy prices and the world coming out of the COVID era with a lot of developed countries trying to shore up their own economies too. So very lofty ambitions for this summit. It isn't expected to come up with any kind of concrete or binding pledge though. It's more a roadmap heading into the G20 in September in India and the COP28 environmental summit at the end of the year in Dubai. Yeah, and Catherine, France has been losing some of its uh, influence in the developing world, notably in former colonies in Africa. How might this play out? Absolutely. You've got to imagine that the French government, as well as having poverty reduction and environmental protection at the heart of this summit, is also keeping a very close eye on the geopolitical scene in this increasingly multipolar world. France has been losing influence, notably in Francophone Africa, which had in the past been an area where it had a great deal of influence. But it's been losing that in recent years. China, of course, has come in very strongly, financing a lot of Africa's uh, uh, private debt, external debt, and then also you've got the increasing influence of Russia in many African countries. So, of course, France is concerned about this and trying uh, perhaps to keep some influence there in the economic terms as well as geopolitical terms. There is a mounting debt crisis in African countries and a lot of people around the world are extremely concerned about this. And at these talks today, and it's not only Francophone Africa that's being discussed, but all across the country, for example, Zambia's debt, that still hasn't been uh, signed off, new loans for that, Ghana as well there. So yeah, Africa very much at the center of these talks, but not only that, we've got delegates here from right across the Middle East, from Asia as well, and a a lot of the developing world coming to try and work out how they can go forward in today's very challenging environment.